slamming the goddamn door. <clears throat> what a way to intro the video. Hello, and once again, it's time to enter the cage with the uh, Nicholas Cage movie. And this is probably a movie I should have started with, but I didn't have it. It's free on Tubi, at least for the next eight days. So I decided why not go ahead and watch it, and that is The Wigger Man. Yes, probably the most infamous of Nicolas Cage movies due to, well, a certain scene that got mean. And we'll get to that one. So, yes, The Wicker Man. What can I say about this movie? All right. What can I say that hasn't already been said? You know, what? it's Nicolas Cage being Nicolas Cage on an island full of women. It's just... So the story... It, well, well, first of all, it's a remake, of course. Uh, the story is that Nicolas Cage plays Edward Malice, Malice, whatever his last name is, and he is contacted by an ex fiance of his named Willow, who says that her daughter, who might also be his daughter, has gone missing, and he needs to come to Summer's Isle to find her. So, right away, this film starts off with a car accident. And I know that most people would think, oh, this little car accident is just adding trauma. You don't need to call back to it later in your review, so why you mention it? Because, weirdly enough, I do need to call back to this. So there's a car accident. He's on his little motorcycle. I'm digging this guy. on motorcycle. Vroom, 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 eh, eh, vroom, vroom. And he's a cop, of course, and he comes up and he scoops up this uh, bear that this little girl threw out. And he gives it back to the person. She throws it out again. And when he goes to get it, this big old fucking truck comes in and just... And runs over these people. And he's got trauma because he keeps seeing this little girl in his truck just like two or three times in this movie afterward. We get introduced to this cop lady he works with who uh, is one of the most awkward scenes in this movie. She comes in and she's like... It's just like, the, they don't have lines for her, you know? But she comes in, she talks to him. And we gotta introduce this character because somehow she'll be important later. Yeah, and so he, you know, gets the letter. And tells this guy at his job or whatever about it. And he's like, well, you gotta go do it or do you have to go do it? Why can't she, you know, call the father? And I'm thinking, well, what if he is the father? So he eventually goes to the island where he's told that there are no trespassers. No one's allowed to be there. But, like, he has to bribe. He bribes this guy with uh, President Grant and his twin brother Ulysses. Which, that's $100. If you don't know. That's two fitties. That's $100. And so he has to bribe this guy to take him there. Uh, and, uh... So... Remember that, though. You have to bribe this guy to take him there. All right? Remember that. So, he gets there, and he starts asking questions, and he reconnects with Willow, and he starts asking questions. He meets little Lily Sobieski and big Sister Beach. Yes, that is her name. And Sister Summer's Isle, because we can't be original. Played by Ellen Burstyn, who and she's later dressed like Braveheart. But he starts his investigation, and there are bees. Uh, and he's, I'm allergic, you know, and he's running around. And then once the investigation gets going, so does Nicolas Cage. He, he gets, gets frustrated, he starts yelling, freaking out. There's a bird jump scared. There's, you know, there's a, the, <laughs> there's a scene where he goes... Okay, so the big difference between this one and the original, besides Nicolas Cage, is that this is an island full of women, and the men are basically just slaves. So, he goes into this classroom, and the teacher asks, what do we see men as? And they start chanting, phallic symbol, phallic symbol. It's just like, you're teaching children this! Little girls, you're teaching children this. Children. Couldn't be older than ten. Children. 
there's a bunch of fake outs. There's one where he thinks he sees the little girl in the water. But then he goes down. He's in the water. And then he's back up. And oh, it's just a dream. But then he's holding a dead body. And then he's flying. There's these two twins who very well could have been the twins from The Shining. I don't know. And... Like, he asks questions, but they don't give answers. Like, he's asking Willow questions, and she's doing everything she can not to answer these questions. She asks, he asks Lily Zabayeski, Zabayeski, he shows a picture of her, of the little girl, and says, have you seen this picture? Or have you seen this little girl? She giggles, and then he's like, well, okay, and asks a different question. He's like, no, 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 go back. You asked her a question. She giggled. She didn't answer you. She giggled. I think there's a little something more there. Okay, Cage Man? I'm just saying. Just... You know what I And there's all these hints. Like, there's a missing picture. Obviously, it's going to be her, and it is her. And there's a lady covered in bees, and some dude that has a bunch of bumps all over his skin, which is obviously bee stings. All hinting towards the ending. The only problem is, it's not in this version of the film. No, I was so disappointed. So we get, we get to the end eventually. He finds out this was all set up. He finds a little girl. He starts to run away. She leads him back to the other ladies, right? And we find out that everything from the start was a setup. Yes, everything. The cop lady, she's one of them. The little girl and the mom that got hit by the truck, apparently they're a part of it. The only problem I see is the person who brought him there. The guy refused to go there and he had to be bribed to go to the island. So why didn't they set up one of their men to bring him there? If this was all a setup, like, why didn't they have one of their men? Because they had to kill this guy. And it's like, they would've, wouldn't have to kill anyone if they just had one of their men do it. I know they say, well, but their men don't talk. They just go, mm, mm. But, I'm just saying. So yes, everyone is involved. The cop lady, the mother and her child, which has caused him trauma, remember? Because he's been seeing this accident in his head over and over and over again throughout the film. And they brought him there as a sacrifice because he has to be a stranger, but also blood. So he is the father of one of their children, so he can be sacrificed because he's also a stranger. He's not on that island, so yes. And so what they do is they, uh, you know, break his legs and hang him up inside the wicker man and set it on fire. And then the movie cuts to a couple months later, and you got Lily Sobieski and Willow, and they're trying to hook up with James Franco and uh, Jason Ritter, who are cops. I believe Jason Ritter could play a cop. James Franco, I know he. I'm sorry, he smiles too damn much to be a cop. And it's shown it's gonna. Have it all over again. And that's where the movie ends. And again, you're saying, Scotty, what about the bees? Well, despite the fact that it has been hinted since he got there, with bees being there and him saying he's allergic and he squashes a bee and there's a person covered in bees and they have bees all over the island, this theatrical... There's even a bee sound. The ending of the film has Lisa Zobayeski and you hear him screaming from the bees. But it's not in the theatrical cut of the film. They cut it out. I even looked. When they have him in the in the Wicker Man, you can see the bumps on his head when he got stung by the bees. But they took it out of the theatrical cut for some reason. Why? Did they think it was too over the top? Which, if you cast Nicolas Cage in your film, you shouldn't be worried about being too over the top because you're just going to be anyway. You know? Just saying. Just saying. 
You cast Nicolas Cage, you're guaranteed to have some kind of over-the-top performance. You know? Just saying. Just saying. But yes, the bees. But before they put him in this wicker man in the alternate extended ending, they pour CGI bees on him and he's yelling, Oh, oh not the bees. Not the bees. Oh, my eyes. Oh, my eyes. Oh. Almost like Arnold there. You know, Arnold could have done that line better. No, no, not the bees. Not the bees. No, 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 no. Stallone couldn't do it. He'd be too stupid. Oh, uh, no, hey, yo, hey, yo. Ah, uh, no, the bees. Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo. My face would be more swollen than it already is, you know, hey. You know? Van Damme would just kick him across the island. Kurt Russell would blow him off. <laughs> Steven Seagal would probably try to do yoga to the bees. <laughs> you know? Nicholas Cage is the only one who get really over the top and Arnold... I would love, okay, I would love to see a remake of The Wicker Man with everything that's in this film, like shot for shot for shot, line for line, this film, but put Arnold Schwarzenegger in there. I'm trying to find this little girl, is she here? Where is she? Show me now, now, give it to me now. Then there's a scene where he has to get the bike from the lady with the curl. Put the bike down! Put it down! Now! Give me the bike! Put it down! Arnold would be funny doing this. It would be even more funny than Nicolas Cage. And there are scenes where he just, like, punches Sister Beach. Like, he goes in. Like, he's had enough at this point. He goes in and he looks at her and she looks at him. And he's just, like, <laughs> knocks her unconscious. And little Lisa so Baskin, like, <laughs> jumps on him. She knocks, he knocks him, her unconscious. He gets in the bear suit, and I kid you not, he runs in, in fucking bear suit, and punches this lady upside the head. And takes the little girl, and then gets out of the bear suit. But like, Nicolas Cage in a bear suit, punching someone. It's ridiculous. This movie is ridiculous. Now, it's not a movie by any means. It's a terrible film. From beginning to end, it's a terrible film. The only thing that really saves us for me is Nicolas Cage's performance because he's clearly giving his, giving his all in this film. So the score I can give this film, I think I'll give it a six. Because it, it's enjoyable with Nicolas Cage's performances, performance. I think Arnold would be the only performance I think that would be better than Nicolas Cage because it would just be way out there. But, uh, but yeah... It gets a six from me. So, uh, what are your thoughts on The Wicker Man? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.